Yo, what's good with y'all in today's video? I got how to make Grow Garden Part 10 for the series. And today's video is going to be real quick, nice and short. I added something y'all have been asking me for for a long time, which I thought it was com complicated to add, but it was actually very simple. I, had, I added a stock system, which pretty much um each individual server will have its own amount of whatever the plant or crop, whatever you want to call it, um, it'll have its own amount every five minutes or however long you want. It will restock, and then based on the rest the stock chance, um, will determine if that um, what's it called? If I'm trying to think, if that crop will be restocked or not and stuff. So I'll explain the whole thing. So first thing first, most important thing. Let's go ahead and let's create two new values. Okay. So, op so head on over to server storage. Open that up. Right. Then you want to open seeds folder. Now inside of inside of each one of your seeds, you're gonna want two new values. They're both gonna be number values. One is an amount value, and one is called amount, and the other one is called stock chance. So the simple thing I recommend doing is just doing this, because you guys probably have a whole, more than more seeds than I do, right? So you see where it says seeds folder plus icon. Go ahead, insert a number value. Insert that then just go ahead duplicate that okay so for one of them we're going to rename this to amount right this is going to be this is going to be two things one this is going to be the default amount that like when a new server starts this is going to be the default amount it starts with two this is also going to be um what's it called um this is also the value that we're going to use to keep track of how many seeds are um available for that specific um plant right so for default by default i'm gonna set mine to five you can set each amount like you can set the amount values for each individual crop differently they don't have to be the same and stuff it, it's all specific to this uh crop itself or the seed itself so i'm just gonna set mine to five then for our second value we have the um stock chance so this is the chance that um it has to be restocked to put it into simple terms um to put it into simple terms the lower Wait, hold on, wait, I'm trying to think about this actually. Um I'm trying to think about this. Mm, yeah, I'm trying to hold on. I'm trying to think about this in my head. The, I wanna say because if you do one to one hundred, let's see that gives you twenty. Oh, okay. So the lower the number, the lower the number, the higher the chance it has of spawning and stuff, right? So it's kind of like opposite logic. So the lower the chance, the lower, the, I'm sorry, the lower the number, the higher the chance. So if you want something to be like very common, make it a very low number. I'm just going to do, do it in a way where it's one to 100, right? So for, um, so for this, I'm just going to set this to 40. Then I'm going to take, then here's what I recommend you guys do. Select both of them. So select one and then hold the CTRL or control keybind on your computer, on your keyboard, and then select both of them. Then right click, cut, find seed folder, right click. Go to hierarchy, select children, right click, paste into selected. Now the two values have been inserted into every single seed. So you don't have to individually, you don't have to go through and individually make them. All you got to do now is just, is just change however much you want um, for the amount or the stock chance for each individual seed. So I'm going to leave carrot seed with, with where it's at. For strawberry seed, I'm just going to make it more rare. So for strawberry seed, I'm going to set stock chance to 60, right? And then um, that's, yep, that's about it. Right. So now we're going to get into the actual coding. So open up the local script. So, oh, another thing I actually forgot to um, do. So we're obviously going to have a text label that lets the player know this, the um, the shop has been restocked. Right. So open up starter GUI, open up core GUI, insert a text label into core GUI. You can put this like right here. I mean, what's up to you for wherever, wherever you want to put it. I'm just going to put it right here. You're just going to name this stock text label. Right. Um background transparency can be set to one scroll down bold text rich text scale the text it does not have any text by default you can set the text color to gold and then text stroke color can be black and text stroke transparency can be set to zero and then let me just make sure we're good okay right so then oh i don't know why i have two of those did not mean to do that so yeah so from there then you're going to go back to the local script right then what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the um core events so the on client event stuff so right here right so we could just go right here click the arrow right next to else if event type is equal to item and go right here before the end press enter then go up else if event type is equal to in quotation marks restock enter right and then you're going to say core gui dot stock text oh dot stock text label dot text 
is equal to in quotation marks the shop has been restocked you can put whatever text you want though of course right then after that we're going to put a delay you can set the delay to however long you want it to be i'm just going to do five seconds so task that wait five seconds right then after that we're going to just reset the text so quickly write out stock text label that text is equal to an empty string right then we're going to go ahead and open up the server script and then you're going to scroll down to the core event on server event stuff just like we did with the clients on the local script so keep going and then it should be after this step right here okay so we're gonna need to of course add some stuff onto the buy event considering that we just you know made it so that there's a stock we just introducing a stock system so we're gonna need to run this check we're going to say if seeds folder right find first trial c name so make sure we can find the seed first and seeds folder regular bracket seed name go on the outside and you're gonna say dot amount that value is equal to zero enter return so pretty much we need to one make sure they can find the seed right um and we also need to um make sure that the value if the value is equal to zero then we're going to return right if it's not zero then that means it's one or it's it's equal to or is greater than or equal to one and stuff which means that we do have an available seed so then right here after we um take away the money we're then going to also subtract the amount so seeds folder regular bracket seed name go on the outside that amount that value less than equal to one right so boom then after that we can scroll all the way down we're now going to need to introduce a while loop that will periodically continue to update and restock the server i mean the, um, the shop so then we're going to say task dot spawn we're going to wrap this in that so function regular print or empty parentheses enter then you're going to say while true do press enter then you're going to say core module we're going to create this function in a second dot restock close parentheses right then after that you're going to say task dot wait right and then here you would put your duration for how long i'm going to put five seconds just so that we can just i can demonstrate for you guys obviously if you want five minutes you want um uh, 60 120 180 240 yeah 300 yeah you want 300 seconds if you want every five minutes then you put 300 here so but you guys can set that to whatever you want right so then from there we're going to then go on to the module script so let's open up the module script then we're going to go down um and then we're going to add the admin command so that admins can um they can update the crop amount and so let's say they want to say oh like let's make it so that there are five instead of two then we can just you know do that so you can go right here press enter but else if command is equal to in quotation marks semicolon stock enter then you'll create a variable for the amount so whatever you did, we want to change that to semester split regular bracket two that'll be that should be the second argument and then we need to create a, a variable for the crop name so crop name will be equal to an empty string we need to build the string the reason for that is because some crops you know some of them you know will be will have like technically this is more than one word right this is carrot space seed so we need to account for that maybe you have something that's like pumpkin spice seed or something i don't know Right, so we need to we need to account for that. That's why we're that's why we're gonna do this a little weird. The command is the command is gonna be so you know the command prefix the word stock. Then you're gonna put the amount. Then you're gonna put whatever the name of the crop is. Right. Then we're gonna use a for loop. We're gonna say for i comma v and i pairs. Then you're gonna say message split. Press enter. You'll say if i is equal to three. Press enter. That means the third message argument. Which again, the first thing will be this the command along with the prefix. Right. The second will be the amount so the third will be the start of the name right so then we'll say crop name is equal to crop name dot 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 v oh my bad that's dot v right then what we're going to do is we're going to press enter then you're going to say else if i is greater than three enter that means if there's any more arguments after that it's going to just combine it's just going to combine it's going to say crop name is equal to crop name dot 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 quotation marks and then you're just going to space it out dot 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 v right just so that the names can be combined and stuff like that so like if you have like more than like if it's not just strawberry or carrot you know like i said pumpkin spice um green tomato red tomato i don't know kind of thing you know then we're going to skip the two ends and you're going to say if seeds folder my first child crop name press enter you know say seeds folder regular bracket seed you say crop name go on the outside dot amount that value is then equal to two numbers so we need to convert it to a number and then you're going to put amount 
And then boom, just like that, we're done. Let's go ahead and test to make sure this works. As always, if you guys want access to any one of my scripts or models, just simply read the description and you'll find out, find out how to gain access to that. Um, I feel as though I did something wrong. Oh, I'm stupid. My bad, guys. My bad. My bad. I just realized. All I did was add the command. I never actually added the function for the restocking. My bad. Okay, so after all of this, that's my fault. Okay, so function core module dot restock. Close parentheses, press enter. Then we're just going to generate a random number. It's equal to math dot random one to 100. Now you guys can do with whatever you want. The interval is up to you. But I'm going to do one to 100 to keep things simple. Then I'm using a for loop. So for I comma V and I pairs, you'll say seeds folder, get children, enter. Then you'll say seed is equal to V, right? Then you'll say if random number is greater than or equal to seed dot stock chance dot value enter then seed dot amount dot value is greater than or equal to five so it'll always increase it by five let's say you wanted it to be like a random number you could just do that you could just do this like you could just create another variable to generate a random number and then just you know set that equal to the value so then it just generates a random number i don't know between one to three if you want to have like you know randomized um seed increases and then lastly all we got to do after the loop we're just going to fire the remote event core event fire server or sorry not fire server fire all clients in quotation marks put restock so then it'll notify all players that the, the shop has been restocked and then now we can test this to ensure that everything works so if we press play notice how in five seconds you'll see a notification pops up the shop has been restocked right so notice how right the amount it has 15 now right so here's what i'm going to do um I'm going to do this actually. I'm going to change this because what will happen is I just wanted to demonstrate for you guys that it will restock. The problem is it'll just be infinite. So then at that point, you know, I wouldn't actually get to show you guys that it, you can't buy any without it. So hold on. Okay. So if I go to the shop, right? Keep in mind, I already have a carrot seed. But so, right? So if I open up seed, right? Currently I have five. Now if I just spam this, notice how it goes to 10, but I can't buy anymore because the max because the maximum that was available was five now i have to wait until it restocks now obviously you guys wouldn't set this to five because that's not realistic for a server full of four or however many people are um able to be in your game at, at one time but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did definitely leave like subscribe and stuff let me know if you guys find any bugs or anything i will try to address any of those issues and whatnot um thank you guys for all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel i really do appreciate it and stuff um and yeah i will see you guys in the next video thank god for watching